What's up, my single chads and toxic gamers? How we all doing, my brothers? Hiya, hiya, single chad, like you is doing today. Today has been quite eventful, to say the least, right? Brother uh, actually started pouring his t-shirt because there used to be a time when, you know, a moment happened where we had, like, fanboys started, like, look at that. I mean, damn, imagine, like, over doing that over gaming news. So that happened a while ago, but... Ladies and gentlemen, sit down, because I feel like that you're gonna fall after you hear this story. So this is Chris, right? Senior quality engineer, you know, wholesome guy all around. So that I'm sorry for anyone who sold their Xbox because of the rumors. Just know that if you choose to come back, that all of your saves, friends, and entitlements will be waiting for you. Now, what caused this, right? And obviously there's a video that I want to go over. Now, to understand the gravity of the situation, because I seriously doubt that you guys are understanding what happened. Now, a few days back when rumors started flying around that, you know, Xbox games gonna come out on PlayStation, we had a man who looked Looks like that he's blessed, you know, wholesome family. It looks like that he's a wholesome family man, blessed with five kids, something like that. Asman Gold made a video, therefore we did a video, and you know, we saw a 38-year-old man like crying on camera because of the rumor that said that Xbox games are gonna be coming out on PlayStation. <laughs> That happened. Like the video if you do not cry over the stupid rumors that says that Xbox games or PlayStation games are gonna be coming out on opposing consoles, alright? So, what is going on, right? You might ask, and I'm gonna give it to you straight. We have a short news update video regarding Microsoft as well as the future of the Call of Duty franchise. Because okay. today, Microsoft held a podcast where they discussed everything and anything involving Xbox as well as the future. And in there, we learned some interesting things about Call of Duty. But before the podcast, even happened, they did have an internal town hall yesterday mm. for Microsoft employees, and it was leaked yeah. from that meeting that they all but confirmed that the upcoming COD, which yeah, hopefully Phil is not gonna fire them too, bro. Like just rumored to be Black Ops Call Four by Treyarch will be releasing in October. So do with yeah. that information what you will. It looks oh wow, another Call of Duty game coming out, guys, and uh, yeah, we got the receipts during an internal Xbox town hall last week. Xbox executives confirmed to staff that Treyarch's new Call of Duty game is launching in October. I'm, I'm low-key looking forward to it. One in the comments if you're keen for another Call of Duty game. Two if you're like, nah, bro, I'm not getting another. I'm not buying another Call of Duty game. I want to know where you guys at. Uh, to be honest, though, I'm kind of a little bit looking forward to it, man. Just a little bit. Looks like Black Ops Golf War will be coming out in October, which means roughly eight months from now, we're going yeah. to have a new Call of Duty title. Bruh. Now, going back to the podcast itself, they mostly were talking about everything Xbox related, but in there, we did hear some things about COD, so let's just go ahead and jump into that. Okay. This is okay. a direct quote from one of the executives over at Microsoft, and they say, Game Pass will continue to only be available on Xbox platforms and will have all first-party games playable on day one now they did not confirm this but call of duty is considered to be first party now yeah. that microsoft purchased <laughs> Yeah, isn't that crazy that, you know what, like, Call of Duty was like a third-party game and now that Activ uh, Xbox bought it, therefore, it's a first-party title. I mean, darn. That's insane, man. That's insane. Just to understand the gravity, like, Sega's paid 70 billion. <laughs> and uh, that's gonna be one of those first-party games that's gonna be coming out on all the platforms. So, not too bad of a deal, but that is only for, like... I'm assuming, and everybody's assuming, for the 10 years, because suckers have signed deal with Xbox, I'm talking about PlayStation, they have signed deal with Xbox uh, for bringing Call of Duty on PlayStation, so that's probably a 10 year deal if I, if I have to take a guess. Activision Blizzard. So it seems like, it's not confirmed yet, but it seems like COD 2024, otherwise known as Black Ops Golf War, might be available on day one as part of Xbox Game Pass yeah. when it releases this coming October. Honestly, it should be though. The game, you already know it's gonna be having the BBC bundle that probably you it's gonna be having like all these dang microtransactions and recently guys you're not gonna believe me but like and i might like uh, <laughs> let a little bit too much out there and i don't want to be that guy that you know tries to give these publishers more ideas but technically on a second thought they already thought about it therefore you know they put it in the game and therefore i played it and therefore it's like i'm about to give you the news if that makes Bruh. sense it's kind of like the inception like whoa but what am i talking about right here's the thing though i've been playing microsoft flight simulator love that game right and guess what guess story time here real quick okay 
I went to the microtransaction store. You already see where this is going, right? I'm pretty sure you already know where that is, okay? But here's the thing, I went to the devil shop, uh, the microtransaction, the jaw shop, and in the shop, guess what? Take a guess of how much the microtransactions uh, uh, costed or the price was, right? Because in Call of Duty, yeah, red dot side, you know, happened in Black Ops 4, it was like what? A buck, you know, a dollar, red dot side, they did Bruh. that, uh, community was enraged, everybody went crazy, toxic gamers were, you know, going wild, and, uh, you know, after that, uh, it was a little bit, like, chill, because they learned kind of their lesson for the time being, but then it's like, you know, fast forward to now, we got these friendly UAV onlines, $20 bundles, they upped the price of the battle pass as well, you know, Black Cell is $30, it's still, and, and listen, man, as much as I or and you would like to complain about or and you know talk trash about rightfully so might as well add i mean listen respectfully right these are genuine complaints that sick as god no matter how many times no matter how many times we talk about that Sega's are still buying it and it's still on the top 10 charts. Sega's don't care. Gamers don't care. Gamers are the same. I, I, I swear to God, gamers are one of those species that would say, I hate that game, but I still want a hundred percent it though. <laughs> don't make no sense. So Call of Duty got microtransactions that are like $20, $30 range. One plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator is easily like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 40 dollars for a couple of pixels for a plane. It's just beyond sad at this point and it, it, it's a full price game of you know, crazy times, man. Uber. And they also mentioned in there that Game Pass is up to 34 million subscribers, which yeah. is actually pretty freaking crazy. Insane, they announced that Diablo yeah, 4, of course, is going to be the first Activision Blizzard game that will be coming to Xbox Game Pass. So taking that information there, it seems like they're going to be pushing Activision Blizzard games on the Game Pass over time. And yeah, if yeah. Call of Duty is considered to be a first party Microsoft game now, does this possibly mean that the older Call of Duty games will also become available via Game Pass? Because we got games like COD 4, World at War, the original Black Ops, Black Ops 2, like all the old school games, right? They had a bit of a resurgence last year, if you guys recall. They went through and they updated the security on a lot of those games, yeah, which yeah, kind of yeah. like fixed the matchmaking, essentially. Yeah, yeah that was a, uh, you know, rare, <laughs> rare big deal for, for Microsoft. And I truly do see like older games coming out uh, and surely the newer ones as well. But is it going to be day one, I guess? If it's day one, though, I mean, damn, that's going to be a deal and a half, bruh. And made it so you could find matches much more quickly a lot of people went back to play those old games and it was really fun it was a really fun revival me personally i was on world at war like all night playing search and destroy feeling like i was 16 years old again i had a blast with it right but the thing is over time you know that resurgence kind of died down a little bit ultimately yeah. the games didn't really last in fact i should do uh, uh guys warning we are about to see <laughs> this might be ptsd for a lot of you out there Bruh. we might see the last gen <laughs> last gen master chief though because oh, this is like the gameplay reveal but it's cgi so it might not be that bad but yeah be careful you are warned you might see the last gen <laughs> i mean it was still for xbox series x but like these seconds i mean what what the hell are they doing with their first party titles i'll get it okay but yeah man uh, uh i just want to give you guys a fair warning real quick a video where i go back and check out all those old titles here in 2024 and we're gonna see like how many people are still actively playing them but like i said if those games Ooh. do go to game pass a subscription service that has 34 million subscribers that would be insane how yeah, much yeah, could yeah. that possibly revive again games like call of duty 4 world at war the og modern warfare 2 hell if you're a fan of call of duty ghosts i don't care if you're an advanced warfare fan doesn't matter all those games honestly i would have taken like advanced warfare 2 over call of duty van garbage any day bruh if they get added to game pass that might just revive a lot of them, and I don't even know if it's true, possible, true, but true. man, how awesome would it be if they added crossplay to those games? I'm no mm. game developer, right? It's kind of funny. Every time I talk to my grandparents, they're like, oh, you make video games, right? And like, I've been a YouTuber for like 13 years now. No, I don't make the games. I cover the games. I don't know the first thing about putting together a video game. I really don't, but how awesome would it be if they were to somehow add crossplay to those older games? Because right now, Game Pass can be played on Xbox and PC, but let's yeah. just say like the OG Modern Warfare 2 that gets added to Game Pass. Well, even if that happens, Xbox players will only be able to play with Xbox players, and PC yeah, players will true. only be able to play with PC players. I'm mad. Oh, yeah, we got, we got a problem right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just hope that uh, Sega Star, like, <laughs> breaking. <laughs> 
<laughs> touring their shirts, man. Because uh, right now, a lot of suckers out here are, are, are the, the, trying to burn their PlayStations and Xbox, okay? <laughs> and they're burning their hands instead. It's like crazy out there. And this is that video where that 30 year old man you know father of five kids that started crying on camera it's absolutely hilarious but both said i'm not sure whether to laugh or not but check this out and i'll see you right there